Thank you for having me. It's so nice to have you here. Again, we've you've been here before. Yes, and I'm a yeah. California girl born and raised, Inglewood, California born, so I'm really flattered and happy and, you know, excited, not flattered. What is that? I'm flattered. <laughs> so I'm excited you're here. So uh, you've uh, had a rather contentious relationship with uh, Trump uh, from the get-go. Yes. There have been a number of public feuds between the two of you, and at the State of the Union last week, Trump ramped up his attacks on your state yet again. Watch. Yeah. In California and other states, their systems are totally out of control costing taxpayers vast and unaffordable amounts of money. The state of California passed an outrageous law declaring their whole state to be a sanctuary for criminal illegal immigrants, a very terrible sanctuary with catastrophic results. Nancy's face, I mean, yeah. says it all. And, and he can't even say it. And Nancy's face says it all. But yeah. look, I... <laughs> <laughs> look at her. Yeah. <laughs> Ask you something. Does he hate California because he knows that you're there and Nancy's yeah, there Adam and Schiff? Schiff yeah. All his enemies are but, there. But moreover, because he lost by four plus million votes in yeah. the last election. Yeah. We are the most un-Trump state in America. We're also the most diverse state in yeah. America. 27% yeah. of our state foreign born. And more important than anything else, we're also prospering together across every conceivable yeah. difference. Twenty-one and a half billion dollar operating yeah. surplus. Record low unemployment. One out of seven jobs in America since 2011 have come from the state of California. Yeah. Advancing our low carbon green growth. I can go on. It's, it's, it's hard for him. And we're also suing him. Yeah. 67 lawsuits. And we're beating him across the board. Yeah. Over and over and over again. I can't stand it. I can't take it. Diversity is working for California. Diversity is our strength. We yeah. don't tolerate it. And we New celebrate. York also. We're very, yeah. they, we yeah. have that here. But yeah. it's America's coming attraction. Mm -hmm. And we say about our state, New York, you can claim the same. The future happens here first. Yeah. I think you uh, sound like America's coming attraction. I don't know about that. I think the <laughs> folks you have this week will be America's coming attraction. But I just, I want folks to have a, point, a frame of optimism. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you don't like the way the world looks when you're standing up, mm -hmm. stand on your head and go local. Because mm -hmm. remarkable things are happening at the local level. Mm -hmm. Cities. Mm -hmm. And counties and at the state level. It's not just about Washington, D.C. And California has proved positive, the fifth largest economy on planet Earth. Yeah. A nation state with a population larger than 163 nations prospering with progressive values, proving, not asserting, right. these principles work at scale. Trump is scared of California. Yeah, that's true. And I think what's. Um... California has been labeled a state of resistance um, against Trump, and I, I think it's because of those 60 lawsuits, more than 60, I think, yeah. at this point, that you filed against uh, the Trump administration. Some of the issues are immigration, environmental regulations, and others. But do you worry that this war with Trump could possibly backfire? Uh, because we know he holds a grudge, yeah. and we know he retaliates. Uh, in, New York, in New York, we don't have global entry anymore. He suspended global yeah, entry applications the yeah. for that's the moment. The, that's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, hey, I'm not going to turn into Lindsey Graham. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to stand on principle. I'm going to fight for our adverse populations, fight for women's rights, fight for the environment, uh, fight for my kids and grandkids. We're going to stand up to a bully. Right. We're not going to capitulate. We're going to do the right damn thing. We're not waking up every day trying to put a crowbar in front wheel of his agenda. Yeah. But at the same time, if he attacks our folks, we're going to have their backs, and they need to know that. And the fact is, again, we're winning. We're yeah. not losing. And so, you know what? Damn it, we need people to stand up on principle. We need people why don't they? to fight for cause. Yeah, I don't know why, why they don't they, this. Governor. Why don't they? Because they uh, legitimately are scared. They're scared of a Lindsey Graham, is that because scared? That's, it, that's, he, he's an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. He's an embarrassment. Mitch McConnell, he really is. How about Mitch? And Mitch McConnell's dangerous, dangerous, not just an embarrassment. He's dangerous because of the power yeah, he has. Yeah, Lindsey Graham would have lost a Republican primary had he not made up with So what? That's just so a what? Well, get another it's about job. Power. To get another job. They just throw their ethics and morals right out the window for a job. Well,